I am tired. And so I'm gonna take a nap. In the middle of, of a river. Why you ask? Well, because I got questions to answer. Two exactly, but not two in this video. This is a dumb idea. This is my dog. Where are you? There he is. He's keeping me company. The first question is by <clears throat> Theon von den Berg. What a wonderful name. His question is, and bear with me, this camera is mm, too heavy to carry. Please make a video on your point of view uh, regarding religion and how uh, you deal with being an INTP and being religious at the same time. I am at a place where I am not very relig religious anymore and would appreciate the insight of another INTP. Well, before I answer your question, Theon, I'm going to put my phone down and hope for the best. Hopefully, uh, a wiggle wagon, whoever the heck that is, doesn't steal my device. Well, let's see here. I'm an INTP, yes, but I am not religious. But what I am is happy to see a little floaty. However, the heck this came here. This will improve my adventures. We had a oh. <laughs> we had a flood recently. And so, uh, there's all sorts of goodies that came down from the river. So, float with me now, shall you? I am not religious, as I said, Theon. And so, this is my advice to you. Abandon it. Now, because I'm not quite sure what you mean by religious. Because, I mean, I don't know what kind of religion you practice. I would say that my religion isn't, relig isn't a religion to me. I, I don't... Um, behave it um, in such a way. I am floating down this river. My poor dog is wondering what the heck to do, and I'm wondering what the heck to do because <laughs> all my stuff is up there. Well, <clears throat> anyways, because especially from an INTP point of view, if something is not true or real, then it is unfortunately a huge waste of your time because it's not true or real. But however, religion does have its benefits because it's in a way I wouldn't say civilizes but unifies now the hope is is that it's unifying in a proper way because there are unifying traits of religion that can be quite dangerous and you're probably hearing that squawking let me turn around and hopefully that helps um, uh, yes it, it unifies and but it can be quite a dangerous uh, thing but also at the same time, it creates a unity as to what to expect. And if done properly, it can help with um, social structures um, and whatnot. So, Theon, I'm not quite sure which religion you are participating in, but I would, I would examine its worth um, in a social, social sense. If it's Christianity, because mine, so I'm personally a Christian, not because I'm like, hey, I want a religion to um, enjoy in this life because I recognize some kind of social benefit, but rather because I do believe that what is claimed is true, and I would say that in my life, manifestations of, of Christianity has been manifested before me and allows me to depend on it and I'm not saying we'll see well, all sorts of things so like certain not certain but biblical truths and um, uh, humanity and uh, like for instance I would say that we were built to have an ideal state or we were we were built with the proper idea or goodness gracious not even speaking correctly we were built with intent which means there is an ideal state that we are to be and the more we deviate from that state the ideal state we suffer more we suffer greatly and when i compare uh, christianity or like ideals and all that stuff and i find that people truly follow those fundamental ideals they are those who suffer less and benefit greater um, than those who practice other ways of thought that is just my um, observation, I suppose, in this life. We're coming up to the spot where I lost my wallet. 
See that big clump of trees over there? I'm gonna zoom in on for you. Not, oh, <laughs> zooming on my face. <laughs> this is not gonna work. There you go. Yeah, that's totally out of focus. Because, well, this is not quite working. My poor dog is slowly following me. There's a huge cliff behind me. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, no, that's a rabbit. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. Because I do believe that religions that are not true are not worth while at all, but at the same time there is value in them if they are not harming other people. And that's because people can feel harmed and justify their misery and say that they're having, um, let's see here, their, their feelings are getting hurt or they don't recognize their own, let's say, evil and so when certain sufferings come upon them, um, then they think they're being, you know, this, they're, they're mm, being targeted for execution when really it's their own demise that kind of led them to that position. This is such an interesting, isn't that cool? That's where I lost my wallet. Fell in this river actually, and I've never seen it since. That was a few months ago. So, Fion! That's my answer to you as we float down the river together. And any other INTPs, especially religious or Christian... The so when you guys ask a question, please be a little bit more um, clarifying as to what the heck you're talking about. Um, so that I can give you a proper answer. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you think, what you believe, and uh, why you believe it. My dog just fell in the river. And I'll see another video, another life you never know. I'm just gonna keep cruising. Though all my crap is still upriver. So, but I'm happy I found this thing. <laughs> Alright, peace out.